Hey Scorpios. Hey guys. Peace, love, light, and healing energy. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. And I am back, everyone. So we're going to get into this message. Let's see what comes out. So take what resonates with you. Leave the rest. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so you'll know when I go live, post readings, and so forth. Okay? All right. Spirit, angels, guys, divine ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is the message? <coughs> Excuse me. What's the message for Scorpio? I also want to welcome in Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Sariel, Raquel, Ramel, Metatron, Christine, Mary, and all of our powerful archangels of the spirit realm, universe. I also want to give honor and praise to my ancestors of love and light, my ascended masters with their spiritual teachings that came before me, spiritual guides and Holy Spirit. I accept you all step forward to show me the message for Scorpio. What do we have for Scorpio? And also, guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ooh. What do we have for Scorpio? All right, so I'm going to stop here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have Indigo Child. So, Indigo Child. Hmm. An Indigo Child is... A very special born child sometimes this can be children male or female that's born with some type of disability sometimes um, these are people that are have a special purpose and mission for this earthly realm they're like star seed children almost mm-hmm you may be an indigo child Scorpio, or you have a child that's considered an indigo child, okay? Tell me more, indigo child. These are star seeds. These are star children. And most of the time, indigo children are born with some type of, like I said, disability, some type of issue. And even though the world says, hey, you have MS, or you have autism, or you have... Um, some type of developmental speech or, you know, things like that. Yeah. But the 3D is going to say, oh, this is a child with disability when technically this child was sent here for a reason. Yeah. Indigo child. Hmm. So we have an energetic message here that says, karmic kick me out. Hmm. Interesting. Let me get one more. Indigo child. And karma kick me out. Tell me more. Hmm. All right, and we have spiritual vision. Yeah. I feel like you're this indigo child. Mm-hmm. I feel like you are this indigo child that has, and that's why I said these indigo children are very special beings. Other people are not able to see the, the light in them. They just look at them as a normal person that may have that doesn't look like the normal average child. This indigo child has spiritual vision, uh, excuse me, <laughs> spiritual insight. Indigo children can see things that the normal person cannot see. Hmm.
The person who is stating here that they're being kicked out by the karmic, this could also be an indigo child. But we're going to see exactly who this is. And indigo children have like a supernatural... It's a TV show that kind of reminds me of... Um, Indigo Children. What's the name of that show? I don't know if it was... It'll come to me, guys, but there's a TV show that kind of breaks down these Indigo Children. I'll share it with you guys, but yeah. Someone here... I feel like whoever this indigo child is, and even an indigo child can be someone who has certain type of traits or like certain abilities. And one of their abilities is like spiritual vision. It, it's, it's like this is the weird kid. This is the weird kid in school. You stand out like a sore thumb. You're different. You may be, I heard loner, like you may be someone who's a loner or whoever this indigo child is, is someone who is a loner. Mm. Wow. Yeah, the <sighs> this indigo chap this this is just a very unusual, different person. I'm being called to talk about this with you guys. Hmm. Hmm. It's like these are people that are being sent, male or female children, that are that were sent here for a reason. They are They get alienated a lot. And that's because the normal vision, the normal people cannot understand them. This particular spiritual uh, indigo child has, they don't see humans in the way that a normal person would see a human. Yeah. This indigo child may have even been a part of a toxic family or came from a toxic family. It's like almost like the black sheep a little bit. Yeah. Mm. All right. Tell me more about this indigo child. <clears throat> yes, I was being called to give you more insight on to get a better understanding of what this indigo child was. Yeah. Tell me about Indigo Child. What is Indigo Child for Scorpio? Three of Cups. Tell me more. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So the Emperor in the reverse. Hmm. This indigo child, I heard a uh, abusive father. This indigo child has an abusive father or there is a father not present in their life. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This indigo child is very spiritual. I'm picking up a female here who has an absent father in her life. 
Mm -hmm. You were brought here to transmute energy, change energy. You are part of this will of fortune here. Having an absent father changed you. It actually was kind of a, I hate to say it, but it's kind of a good thing. Because it actually worked out in your favor. Because, of course, even though you are, you know, conceived from your father. But I just feel like you were born from a toxic bloodline. And you were the person to break that generational curse. You were sent here on a mission. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're different from everyone else. Yeah. Your third eye. You see things that other people can't see. And you came from a toxic family. You were sent. You were the mission. You still were sent from the cosmos. Hmm. You may have an Aries father or father figure, someone with strong Aries in their chart. Wow, I'm hearing you were the catalyst. Mm hmm. Wow. All right, tell me about Karmic Kick Me Out. So, for others of you, Someone chose a third party. They chose a third party over this indigo child. And I'm also getting with the emperor. This is a masculine energy, male or female, that doesn't have their father. This is someone who bloodline is taunted. They came from a toxic family also, but they didn't break the cycle. This person likes discipline. They want to be in control. But someone... Mm. This is not a grounded individual. They don't stand on principles, values. They're lacking in their own life, their selves. They don't they didn't come from structure. Hmm. Karmic kick me out. Spirit angels and guys. What is this about for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And of course, everyone, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All right, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. So this is someone, some people, a situation that someone chose to invest into. And now they're stating here energetically to you that the karmic kicked them out. But this is who they chose. Because they were unaware of their higher self. They were unaware of their value, their worth. All right, so we have three cards here. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We have the Four of Wands. You may be seeing 1111. I'm getting strong Aries Energy here. Temperance, Sagittarius. <clears throat> hmm. Put my chair down, y'all. Okay. <clears throat> you were someone that was sent from the universe, from God. I, I, I heard portal just now. You were sent to someone. You were someone's twin flame, but unfortunately, they didn't recognize it at that moment. So they thought that another person, another situation or environment 
was better than being in a relationship or a marriage with you or some type of commitment. And now they're dealing with the repercussion of their choices. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They had it all with you. Look at all these marriage commitment cards here. You were their twin flame. You were... In so many ways, someone had it all with you and they chose another direction. You were someone's earth angel. You were... Almost in a way there to help save them. The universe puts you in this person's life for a reason, but I don't they didn't see the value of this marriage, commitment, this home life, this strong foundation. They didn't get it. You were their solution. But now they're wanting you to know that the karma kicked them out. But this is who they chose to deal with. But they're now reaping what they sow. They're reaping what they sow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -mm. But how everything is playing out in whoever energy this is. It was going to happen in divine time of that. That other situation, third party wasn't going to last it was temporary you you are home to someone they already had something established with you someone can have a venus placement in taurus or aries that's not gonna be for everyone Hmm. Tell me about spiritual vision for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And yes, someone can have Sagittarius, Taurus in their chart. <clears throat> and that karmic can be male or female. They're reaping. And keep in mind, we're still in that Saturn retrograde. And we just had a full moon. Uh, actually, a second full moon in Capricorn. So it's been in Capricorn twice. Mm -hmm. And then we got all the other planets that are shifting. It's, it's a lot going on, guys. You just got to hold on to your hold on to your wigs and your purses. Tell me. What is spiritual vision? Thank you. All right. Page of Cups. Tell me more. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Mm. Justice card, Libra. Hmm. You know what's I'm hearing? I'm hearing messenger. It's almost like you were a messenger. Or you are the messenger. <laughs> this is like, I'm hearing, you seen this coming. You seen this coming when it comes to a third party. Someone here could be a cancer. It's definitely, I could definitely get a water sign. So... It's like you had a, I don't know if you had a dream. Or kind of one of those Raven Simone moments <laughs> where you see into the future. But I feel like you seen this coming with a third party. That it wasn't going to last. And this don't even have to be a relationship. This can even be a job situation where someone, you know, chose a job over you, you know, money over love. But regardless, someone is definitely reaping what they sow. So if someone got kicked out of a relationship, a household, or someone got fired from their job, or they were asked to leave, whatever it can be. I feel like you saw that this wasn't going to work. 
you receive downloads and messages. That's why I said, you know, Indigo Child, this is like a very spiritual person. You have spiritual insights. Your intuition is a thousand times stronger than the average person. You see things. You have visions of things that is not normal to the normal eye, you know? Wow. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Scorpio. So this is what I have for you guys. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Of course, you guys know that I will be back with another reading. Um, so, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Thumbs up, comment below, subscribe. So as far as... I don't really see your energy here. It's just uh, as far as when I say energy, I mean exactly... You actually being here, king, queen, cups, wands. But I, your energy is here. That's what I meant to say. Sorry. Your energy is here. Mm-hmm. So I have Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus. And, of course, the water sign here, Page of Cups. All right. See you on the next reading, everyone. Bye-bye.